Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize this time. I haven't randomized in a little while. See who we end up getting. Boom bow. We get Bethany. Let's give Bethany a go. Why the hell not? Bethany and her lovely little wisps can do quite the number sometimes. She's also just a fun character in general. Getting angel deals off the bat is pretty good. No soul hearts to be seen though, which is a little upsetting. But we'll see what we end up getting here. Um, we get little Steven off the bat. Unfortunately, it is... A slightly hard item to get, but don't worry. I've got the skills to pay the bills. Honestly, Little Steven, early game, really good. The fact that he has Herming is pretty awesome. And he is a nice damage, ad ad damage addition. God, that took me a little while to say. Anyways, how is everybody today? By the way, for today's question of the day, what is a skill that you have that you are really proud of? What's like, what's like something that you think you're really good at? What is something that you can be proud of the fact that you're good at sort of thing? I've got a few. A few that are more, like, sort of gaming related and a few that are more, like, actually sort of personal related. I think one thing that I've realized in the job that I'm in over the past sort of... What, what happens with a moral heart of this character? Okay, they do act as charge. It's cool. I thought they would, but I wasn't sure. Um... Yeah, I think, I think one that I've sort of realized with the job that I'm in now is um, I didn't realize how good I was with people. <laughs> I didn't realize, I like, I knew that I was, like, friendly and I knew that I was, like, or at least I thought I was easy to talk to and stuff. But I think working in the job I'm working in has proven to me that that is actually one of my main skills and sort of my selling point for being in a job and working is the fact that I'm good with people. Um, so that's nice to know. Um, I mean, it kind of sort of feels kind of self-explanatory to those of you on YouTube because I feel like to be an interesting or enjoyable YouTube personality, you have to be good with people. I, I suppose you don't really, but it definitely helps. And I'm a, I'm a very talkative person. I mean, one of the main reasons I ever started YouTube was because um, I just wanted an outlet to talk more. <laughs> oh, hello. Um... Yeah, I just wanted an outlet to talk more somewhere where I could I could chat shit more often. And I was like, hey, people do YouTube. I like watching YouTube. Let's do some YouTube and I can talk more. And um, it's it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, but that that's definitely one of them. I think my other one um, is uh, probably my my like aim and game sense in first person shooters. Ooh, I'll take a I'll take a tower card. I feel like that's definitely one of my best gaming skills. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I I I mean most of you probably will by now, but I play a lot of like Call of Duty and Warzone. I recently just unlocked like the Mastery Camo and the Call of Duty multiplayer, and I'm about 30, 30 something wins on the new Warzone, which came out about two weeks ago. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's that's going pretty well. Um, right, I can't remember what this guy does. This is the four charge guy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm doing pretty well with that, but it kind of stems from the fact that I have been playing first-person shooters for a very, very long time. The Bell Clapper. Big damage, big tears. The damage granted by Bell Clapper is multiplied by 0 0.9 for each shot fired in a room. Does, does that mean our damage gets lower? It doesn't go below base, though, does it? Okay, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me just see. Let me just see. Okay, as long as it doesn't go below base, I don't really care. Also, we got a Soiled Heart, which, as we've seen before, Soiled Hearts, if you can keep them alive, are insanely strong. Like, I mean ridiculously strong. So that's going to be rather nice to have. Every room cleared while we have the Soiled Heart gives us a random uh, Dirty Mind Familiar. And some of them are insane. Mainly the Holy Dips. So yeah, we get a pretty big damage up that scales downwards. Uh, but it doesn't go below our base damage. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. As a, as a boss item, I like it. I really like that Retribution does some different things with items. But yeah, what I was going to say is, um, in terms of like first-person shooters, I think it's mainly because um, I've... Ooh, hello. Uh, the Eternal D10. Now, do we reckon this D10 works the same way as the new D10 does, or the same way as the old D10 does? I'm going to guess the way the old one does. Rerolls enemies, enemies have a chance to disappear. Seems pretty good. 
Um, yeah, uh, it's because I've been playing first-person shooters since as long as I can remember. Um, since I was about seven years old was my first first-person shooter. Um, it was Enemy Territory Wolfenstein. A very, very good game. Really enjoyed it. I still, I, I, don't play, I don't play it as much anymore, but I still do jump back on it every now and again. Although the servers have now been shut down, so you have to like go on a, a sort of custom version of it. But game I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, that is still a game that, e we deleted all those enemies. Glitched heart there, but rather nice. Got our dips coming in. We managed to get a soul heart spider there. Kind of interesting. I don't think that devolved. I don't think that devolved the enemies. So it's still the old D10, which makes it risky. But interesting, because it can delete enemies as well. Hey, we got a holy dip. We got a holy dip. Okay. We are in the money now. Also, I have no idea what our new wisps do. So we're going to have to figure that out. But yeah, the, um, the, the, the holy dip is going to carry us a little bit here. Basically stay in its aura and you get the um, the holy poop effects. Crazy fire rate, crazy damage, homing. It's all good. It's all good. And also the ability to negate damage like Mask of Infamy. We've got a silver dip as well here. I can't remember what the silver dips do. I can never remember. They like make enemies into ghosts or something along those lines. Anyways, this is good stuff for now. This is good stuff. Ooh, Moxie Head. Very, very good. Just flat damage there. And then we've got the Wax Wings. Flight, damage up, stats until you take damage. Upon taking damage, these stats are removed and you're teleported back to the start of the floor. Wax Wings are regenerated upon starting a new floor. Pretty good going for us here. We'll take that. And we'll get out of here. We'll skedaddle, skadoodle. Um, we don't need to do our shop or anything. I suppose we could go for secret room, but I'm just going to carry on. And I'm just going down the normal path for now. I'm liking the normal path here and there. This is what I like about Fiend Folio. I don't feel as pressured to go down the alt path anymore. Because the, the alt path I used to like going down because it's like a bit newer, a bit more tough. But whereas now, I don't need to worry about that as much anymore. Because Fiend Folio adds that difficulty and adds that sort of newness to the other floors anyways. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that you had a thing in the back of your head there. I thought you were just a regular enemy. What on earth? Where are you, little devil? There you go. Oh, we actually got a, a devil uh, thingy out of him. We also got a harlot heart here, which doesn't do anything for us right now. I guess I'm just going to use this every room and see what happens. Because, like, 50% of the time, it's going to delete all the enemies, so... We're just getting unlucky right now. Okay. And also, we're getting a lot of wisps out of it, too, which is pretty good. Oh! I see. It's... It's a 50% chance per enemy, not per whole room. I thought it either deleted every enemy in the room or re-rolled every enemy. Not it has a 50% chance per enemy. That's interesting to note. There's also this situation here, which is a little sus. Thank God I had the wisps to help me out there. That would have been a little difficult if I didn't have them. Where's the last enemy here? I hear something. Oh, hello. Literally only my wisps can help me here. Got damn room bugged out. Yeah, so one enemy disappeared there, but the others didn't. That's that's cool. That that's that's better than I thought it was. At first I thought it was very overpowered because it would just delete the whole room. But now I know that it's per enemy, which is the better way of doing it. Cause Yeah, this is gonna make rooms actually in fact this has the potential chance to be more overpowered. We'll see. But it can delete a lot of stuff, but it can also Give us some really tough enemies, as you just saw there. Luckily, we have a lot of damage in the holy, holy poop doing good things for us. 
But that could strive trouble. Could cause some big issues. But yeah, Enemy Territory Wolfenstein was sort of the game that I got introduced to for um, first-person shooters. The one that I, I sort of remember really well. And yeah, I think because of that, I'm pretty decent at first-person shooters. I'm not like a god. I'm not like a fucking competitive gamer or anything like that. Um, but I, I'd say I'm, I'm reasonably good at them. I'd say I'm reasonably good. I, 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 um, I do pretty well. Let's go try and find our item room before anything else. Holy dip, don't you dare die on me. I keep forgetting as well that we, we only have temporary flight gear, so we can't get too reliant on this flight. We will get it back at the end of the floor, but like, we don't have it all the time. Gimme, gimme. Unfortunately, the item room does have to be all the way at the other side of the floor. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. Harlot heart jumping around here. At least we're keeping our um our holy dip heart thing alive. A dirty heart, soiled heart is what it's called. And you'd get there in the end. On that bad boy. Scratch card could be good. We got ourselves a penny out of it, and that was it, I think. Oh hello, we got a free item here. Is that buttermilk that I see? Oh, we lost our holy dip, but don't worry, we'll get a new one back. Yeah, buttermilk's pretty good. We'll take that. And then we also got milk teeth. Tears burst into five tears um, a distance away from Isaac. So it halves our tear rate, but it gives us some split shots. Holy shit. Okay, with buttermilk, this is pretty broken. Wow. We're going to be shooting behind us a lot now, I think. Because they look to be full damage tiers, right? Is it just me or do they look to be full damage tiers? Oh boy, this is interesting. I mean, it's laggy, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, this is... I just... The fact that we picked up two items that synergize so well... Like, back to back. Oh, I love that. I love that. If we can get Hermie again from Holy Dips, that's gonna be ludicrous. Because there's just so many tears on screen. So many tears on screen. You just gotta love it. Right. Let's go and mash up whatever boss we have here. Don't think it'll be that hard. <laughs> we got perfection as well. I don't know how long we'll end up getting to keep perfection here, but I'll take it anyways. Um, and we will head on down. Yeah, we got a holy dip here, so things are about to get rather crazy. Firing teeth out of my butt is not something I had on the docket for today, but I'll certainly accept it. I don't know, maybe I want to take the uh, the book instead. It doesn't work the same way it used to. In fact, using it multiple times. Doesn't seem to do anything. I know that it's got some differences about it. It's, it's been changed up a lot, but I can't remember how. Amazing. I don't know why they're full damage tears, but I'll accept it. I will most certainly accept it. Okay, so it's, it's taking me over here. Oh, okay. That's pretty useful. Ooh, this, this could be really good too. Yes! We like that.
Laser out one side, tears out the other. Beautiful. What the heck? The hand came out and grabbed that guy. We still have such low HP. We'll take the other AWOS with us to the next floor. Yep, we'll take that. Hey, this revealed the secret room. Not that we needed it, but there you go. Oh, I forgot we had flight. We can uh, go get this golden chest. Keep forgetting we have flight. Stop killing yourself, fools. Idiotas. This is beautiful. Why are you taking me, question mark? Over this way somewhere. I don't know what that means. Maybe blow up this. It has an item in it. It did have a pill in it. Could have been that. I don't think it was, though. God damn. This is such a fucked synergy. I love it. Beautiful shop, what do you hold for me? A heart container, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Speed is lovely, shot speed is whatever. Right, and away we go. <laughs> this is crazy, but I love it. Shad Soul, Devil Rooms will have an extra item now that doesn't make any difference to us. 3% chance to fire a T that instantly your Uranus freezes non-boss enemies. If you have more than three hearts, uh, take damage every 30 seconds. Each time the Thor Ring damages you, you get 7% chance to fire. Yeah, that sounds interesting, but right now I'm pretty happy with perfection, I'll be honest. Cracked key. Really, you have to give me this trash-ass room. If I lose perfection to this room, I'm gonna cry. We're good, we're good. <laughs> oh my god, the butt shots. No one can stop the butt shots. I love this. What a wacky synergy. What a truly bizarre and wacky synergy we've got going on here. Try and keep perfection alive if we can. We've kept it alive pretty well so far, but I don't know how long that can last. What are you doing? Resummoning things? Stop. We're just keeping so many of our dips going as well. Oh, when the wisps get destroyed, it reveals rooms. That's really good to know. We can also air was somewhere here. We probably should. And to keep my distance from these enemies. Oh! I didn't see that it was a spike chest. We lost our dirty mind thingy. We didn't lose perfection at least, but that's still annoying because I didn't realize it was a spike chest. So what having all this extra look does to you though. Right. Let's keep on flying along. 
a little bit sad to have lost um, lost that HP there. <laughs> oh, these runs. These runs are just amazing. No question mark there. Must only happen when near to something. Let's just go annihilate the boss now. Oh my god, it's bouncing them all back. <laughs> you can try and catch me, but there is a lot coming at you right now. Like the perfect distance away that one spawns. Beautiful. I think that'll give us damage. No, we did lose damage off of that, but that's fine. We did get a devil deal here. I am going to take that. Yes, I was like, as long as it can trigger off our back tears, I'll be pretty happy. Tears up, good. Perks. Okay, we got we got fuck all out of that, but one of them was the tears up, so I don't really care. Okay, these insta death shots aren't working. When I shoot them out my butt. What? Okay. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh no, it did work. It did work. I just saw it come up then. We just killed him very fast, is all. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Got him. Follow this. So is that, is that just telling me there's a secret room here? I don't know what that's telling me. Most things just die before the hand can hit them. I get it now. Alright, crack this open. I mean, it's a luck upgrade. We're already at 20. How are we at 20 luck? I don't know what's put us at 20 luck, but I'll take it. Those creep shots in there as well. Love it. Okay, found the shop now, we're good to go. That's one. Damn, that was only one tinted rock from what I can see. Although it did give us a lot of stuff for some reason. Maybe there was two tinted rocks there, I don't know. Right, we're good to go. Oh, 
Away we go. Break as many wisps as I can here. Ba -da -da -da. I guess I'll take that with me on my journeys. Why not? Right. Oh, where we go. Still very low on HP, but this run, this run has the butt power. This run has the immense butt power. Just hard to remember to shoot backwards all the time. Almost out of dips now. We've only got one remaining. <laughs> I love that. Walking through a room and just annihilating everything. We just leave a splatter of blood out the back of our butt. Fading chest. Oh no. Is that gonna kill you as well? Yes, it is. God damn, one butt spray. It's just a one and done, pretty much. It's pretty much a one and done. And we've got this circle of protection around us with all of these wisps. Okay, this is Mum's uh, thingy, so we don't want to go there yet. Okay, it's revealed the secret room to us nicely enough. Beautiful. Y'all want to die, fool? Quarter's not bad here. It's not super necessary, I'll, I'll be honest. We've only got one shop remaining. But I'll take it. Why not? By the way, people have asked before, why is my game, like, laggy? I just play with a lot of mods, and personally, I've gotten reasonably used to the lower FPS. It's not that bad, um, and I can deal with it to be able to see more wacky stuff like this. Ooh, I, I, I'm not gonna take that, just for the simple fact that I have had issues with that item crashing my game before. I don't know why, and I don't know if it was anything re actually related to that item, but I remember having a crash with it, and right now I'd rather not crash. That is one positive. We're not we're not getting no crashes, but we're getting nowhere near as many as we used to be. Crashing wise, we've definitely uh, lowered things a bit. Here's the shop. Car battery, rather nice. And we'll go. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Ah, oh, we missed the secret room back there. I apologize. It's unlikely, but there could be a good item in there. I don't want to pass it up. Basically the same thing as last time, but honestly, the black rune is better, so I'm going to take that. In fact, I'm actually going to use it right now. I'm going to take this, and then I'm just going to black room whatever this is. And we gain some damage out of it and some shot speed. I could just go back and pick up the Soul of Eve. I realized that. But I've already set up on my journey now. It has been left behind. I do not min-max. Still got perfection going here. Dead. Take the Polaroid here. Um, Job's family's pretty good here. We'll take that. We'll check the Devil Deal here. Uh, Devil Deal, you know what I meant. Tiny Planet. Yeah. Oh! 
<laughs> I'm so glad I took this. This is so laggy, but goddamn. Like, look, actually look at that just fantastic pattern for the brim, uh, for the laser. That is, isn't, isn't that just like the coolest thing you've ever seen? I think, one minute, um, remove... C961. I think that's the item. Yeah, I think that's one of the items that's causing a lot of lag. The one that's creating all the creep. So I'm just going to remove that. It might not be. It might just be the mad amount of tears on screen, but... I think that was one of the items causing some issues. <laughs> and now we can just fire forward too. We don't have to fire behind us anymore. That was That's a thing of the past now. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is why you take things like Tiny Planet, my dudes. People are like, oh, I don't like anti-grab. I don't like Tiny... Shut. Shut. They are fantastic. The Zane. What about the Zane? Yeah, the lag's definitely significantly better now. It's not like better, better, but it's it's better. This is like literally a synergy that I've never seen before. Something like this is something I've never seen before. This is why I love still playing Isaac. Why I'm still interested in it. Because things like this can happen. Runs that you'd never even conceive of can still happen. H how are you surviving this this much? Dude, you're eating so much shit right now. Come on. I am going to have to get uh, realize the fact that if I lose my luck, our um, evil shots, whatever they're called, the glowing shots won't be as common. I do have to be a little careful. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. <laughs> We're just clearing waves so fast. In the time that fucking the fall and split, I was able to kill the other boss. I do not like this boss. Just pop out the ground, you fuck. Get out of the ground, you shithead. My god, you took way too long to kill then. There we go, we did it. We got Crooked Penny for it as well. Um, all Crooked Penny Wisps are destroyed or duplicated when one is damaged. Oh lord. Um, I don't think I want to take that, to be honest. I'm liking having mapping. I know it seems weird for me, but I'm really liking it. And we got the friendship for Mini Isaacs Every Room. Lovely. Okay, this for some this somehow absolutely ruined our synergy. I don't know how. So it's getting it's getting removed. I thought that'd be so cool, but it just took away our laser synergy. And I don't like that at all, so it's going gone. I was like, ooh, this will be so cool. And it just, like, ruined it. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't work very well with lasers. And I like the laser that we've got going on right now. It's too fun. Just 
Just, just, just be like it to the boss. Be line it to the boss. Another one of these. This time with stem cells, which is actually something we kind of need. Because health hasn't been great this entire run. We're getting a lot of these. What the hell? You are terrible, though. Hello, Fallen. Goodbye, Fallen. And give me a little devil. Thank you. Oh, we got conjoined out of that. That's, um... That's definitely going to make things even more interesting. Now we're firing even more tears. Oh, we can partially destroy those, apparently. Okay, we got our mapping good. Don't really know where we're going here, but I'm fairly sure I'm on the right path. Pretty sure it's all the way to the right over here. Oh, falls. No, that was close. Oh, thank God that metal block was there. That laser really confused me for a hot minute. Yeah, here we go. And then let's quickly dip out to delete all the tears, dip back in. Um, I could play you, actually. I always forget that these can spawn naturally and can give some pretty good stuff. There you go. Fire emoji tears that have unique effects. There you go. This is already a meme of a run, so why the hell not? Angel room. Not a great item, but we'll take it. And away we go. This has been just something else. This run has really been crazy. I just can't believe that we found buttermilk, like, in a random room just spawned there. And the item that we got directly after it from the item room had such an insanely, insanely glitched broken synergy with it. It's just perfect. And then, yeah, the fact that we picked up Tech 2, and Tech 2 has this insane reaction with the pattern. Just beautiful. And then we've got emojis flying over, all over the bloody room. Scared the damn emojis out of me. Boink. Okay, good. We got out of there. We know exactly where the boss is this time around. There's literally no way it can't be this room down here. Ooh, Sigil of Baphomet. If I didn't have this amount of, like, luck-based tier effects, then I'd definitely go for that. What's left? Oh, there's pot babies. Oh my god. Multi-dimensional baby is uh, pretty cracked with this setup. I didn't think about that. Holy shit, multi-dimensional baby. What have you done to this run? <laughs> We've created something chaotic and destructive, and I love it. There's damn cowboy boots flying around. It's just There's just craziness going on all around us. And I'm here for it. Oh, no.
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if this doesn't crash the game, I will be incredibly surprised. This isn't the right way. God damn it. You, you you tricked me out, game. That was a bit rude. Completely tricked me into going the wrong way here. <laughs> By like one time it just destroys the entire game. I finally got hit and lost perfection. Damn. <laughs> oh no, I look based effects aren't as strong anymore. What are we ever gonna do? Phase two, baby. If only you'd actually get into phase two a little bit faster. And not have damage negation while you're changing phases. That'd be nice. I legit have no idea what's going on with these whirling tears right now. Candy Planet has caused some fuckery. The Parasite has broken pretty much everything here. It's pretty impressive. Can I be let out of this room now, please? Look at all these little fucking dinosaur crocodile looking things. Little bananas with legs. Oh, god damn it, I got hit. Okay, we could actually die here. There's, there's a plausibility that we die now. Oh, dude. Parasite, you fucked us. I can't fucking see. The game's playing at 12 FPS right now. I need HP game. Oh no. Lacrophagy? Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? This can't be a good thing. Actually, the tears seem to clear out a bit faster. So maybe it is a good thing. It's pretty beautiful as well. How are you still alive? Get, get deaded, my dude, please. Get luminary, luminary flare in there, why not? We might get the insta-kill glitch with Lacrophagy, so that could help. Lacrophagy has been known to insta-kill things. Dude, if I die to that bomb... I put a bomb down to try and get into the secret room. For some fucking dumbass reason, my pea-sized pee brain was just like, yeah, 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 this won't get knocked around like fucking crazy. And of course, it went left, down, right, directly into me, and the game was running at such low FPS that I couldn't move out of the way. Haha, -ha, that was, uh, that was delicious. Lovely. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.